Hey guys, welcome to another 5 minute fix. Today we're going to be talking about RBDs or rigid body dynamics. Uh, we're going to do a quick rigid body dynamics startup. So we're going to take an object, fracture it up super quickly, put it into a dot net, do a quick sim, export it and run some file caches just so you get an idea of the workflow and how to pack things together and how it all works out. So let's get going. Okay, so first off, we're gonna drop down a geometry node, rename this RBD, and then we're gonna hop inside. Let's do a pig head, because a pig head is awesome. We are going to remove shader, we're gonna keep this medium, just because it gives you the bottom. Then we're gonna fracture things up. Let's do a VDB from polygons. Um, the reason I'm doing that instead of a normal scatter is because if I just do a normal scatter like this, you'll see that it will give you scattered points on the surface and what we want is scattered points in the middle also. Um, so what we're going to do is drop this VDB from polygons. I'm going to create a density volume or file volume for interior and let's just throw this in here. Volume visualize just so you guys can see what is going on. Uh, let's density scale that to 10. You can see it's going to scatter points in the center also. Let's start with something quick. So let's do 100. Voronoi fracture. We're going to give it the geometry that we want to fracture and the points. And now let's just drop down and now. Polygons are coming out. We've got a name attribute here for every piece called pig piece 0 1 2 100 so we've got all these groups which we can actually get rid of group delete in here because we don't want those groups what we do want at the end is a group inside and outside and that is going to help us to add some detail later on okay so now we want an assemble and uh, we'll pack geometry so you can see I've got 103 pack primitives and now we can transform them up the reason I'm transforming after instead of before is because this here is going to give you a packed full transform, which is the transforms of your points um, of zero. And then when you move this up, it's going to modify this intrinsic transforms instead of if I do it here, you're going to see that it will still be transformed up, but the actual transforms themselves will all be zeroed out, which is not what we want because right at the end of the sim, we're going to move these back to the origin and then uh, add some more detail and then place them back with the animation. So what we want is the transforms that are going to point it all the way to the origin. Um, let's just hit enter, let's roll this around. Now let's do a dot net, drop this down. Put it in the first input and jump inside. Here we are on the solver. We need four things to make this work. We need to bring in the pack geometry. We need a ground plane. We need the solver and we need gravity. So let's build that. So let's do RBD packed object. Uh, you can build these with the shelf tools over here, uh, but I'm just showing you manually how it all works so you can get a better understanding. So we want to bring in first context geometry. Active is what we want. Simulated and all of this is all standard stuff. Uh, then we need a uh, rigid body solver, not to be confused with bullet solver, because the bullet solver is actually in here. So this rigid body solver has the bullet solver and an RBD solver in it, plus it has promoted all the necessary attributes that you need to worry about. We're going to pop that in the first input. Let's set our frame range to play uh, real time, and then we'll set our frame range to 100 frames. We have our pieces come in. We have a solver, it's set to rigid body. If we go here and we show our simulated geometry with show guide geometry, we can see that the geometry actually comes in. Convex hulls of the geometry that gets created inside the solver is over here. And, uh, but it's not working. So what we need to do is drop some gravity. So we're gonna drop some gravity and then we're gonna put in a ground plane. And this ground plane, we're gonna merge in here. So this ground plane is basically going to do an infinite ground plane at zero or whatever settings you set here. Um, this is basically the global floor. So we're gonna drop that, we've got some rigid bodies. We have our four things. So let's now uh, import the objects back into uh, sub level. Drop down and drop import node. Okay, uh, I'm gonna connect it up. And in here, I'm just gonna go 
this .NET and this object mask is going to be RBD packed object. I can call this whatever I want. Five minute RBDs. Maybe that's what I'm going to call it. I'm going to say, okay, I want five minute RBDs. Okay, I need to tell it what kind of um, way to bring the DOP geometry in. So I want to fetch pack geometry from DOP network or fetch unpack geometry from DOP network, fetch geometry from DOP network. That's the one I want. It's going to do that. Okay, it's going to give me the pack geometry with all the attributes that I wanted. And we should be all good. Now let's drop a file cache down. Let's call it quick RBDs in the hip, which is saved here in the geometry. I'm going to call this dollar $OS, which is going to get this the uh, the node name here, dollar $F4, which is going to give me the frame numbers with a padding of 4, so 0001, 0002.bgo is the file format that we want to save, and .sc is the compressed version of that. I'm going to make sure create intermediate directories is on and in this geo I'm just going to go in here and go dollar os the slash. So what this is going to do is it's in this geo folder it's going to create a folder called quick rbds and then it's going to call quick rbds dot zero 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 one dot bgo dot sc. Save to disk. And I'm just going to go load from disk. Now you can see there are RBDs dropping down, everybody's happy. Say you want to add some more detail into the areas of the rigid bodies that are on the inside, for example. Let's see how we can do that. 